Here comes a phrase to make you ponder. For such a time as this. Stay with me for Worship in 360. For such a time as this. This great phrase is found in the Bible in the story of Queen Esther. Esther has an entire book named after her in the Bible. Esther did, is not born a queen, but she becomes a queen through a series of life circumstances. She finds herself on the fast track to queendom. I think maybe at first she is simply playing a part, dressing up and enjoying the thrill of play acting at being a queen. This is the dress up box in our basement and you can become anybody, can't you? I could be, ah, yeehaw, as a, as a cowboy, I could become an Irish princess. I could fight a fire. Uh, I could be a police officer. I could be a physician, a doctor. I could t take this uh, evening coat and I could go out for an elegant night. And of course, I'll need a hat to go with that. If I get tired of that hat, I can change to a Disney hat. Or I can put on some amazing glasses. You get the idea. Sometimes it might feel like you are dressing up every day. And out you go to play a part at work or at school and with a family, only to discover you're playing a role you were never designed to be. And you wish you could dive back into life's dress-up box and be somebody else. For Esther, being queen quickly morphed into more than just dressing up. She realizes she has an ability to influence those around her and shape the very culture in which she lives. Her uncle comes to her. He adopted her as a little girl, and he challenges her to not underestimate her position of influence. We find it in Esther chapter 4, verse 14, where the uncle asks, Esther, who knows? Maybe. You were made queen for just such a time as this. Esther, for such a time as this, step into your role and influence and shape the culture around you. Let's all ask ourselves, what's your sphere of influence? Because we all have one. And in your current role, are you simply counting your days or making your days count? I suggest that for such a time as this, you were created and placed in your role in life. Here's a couple of life lessons I'm going to take from Esther. You may discover some better ones. Use that discussion guide and go deeper, but let me get us started. Here, here's one application. Be thoughtful. I call it be thoughtful that intelligence and wisdom are powerful. Esther is careful and respectful, but ever so bold. She is living out what I sometimes call the serenity prayer. Do you know those words? They read like this. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Be thoughtful, my friend, in your circle of influence. Here's a, here's a second application you might take with you. Be grateful for the people around you who affirm you and challenge you. Esther realizes there is a greater good than self-preservation. So let's get out there and serve with community in community. You might click on the link and join Jerome Church as we together shape the community around us one person, one day at a time. We can influence the circles of our life. I'm David Bridgman. Looking forward to seeing you right here next week.